The 15 Point Plan is part of the Winmate Give Podcast Network. Welcome to the 15 Point Plan. My name is Chad Himes, and I am joined today, we'll just say, with by the optimistic Jalene Snell. Hello, Jalene. How are you today? Hey, Chad. I'm doing great. I hope everyone else out there is doing great, too. Yes, I was thinking of the objectionable Jalene Snell as some conversations we've had leading up to the recording for this episode. <laughs> Yet it'll probably just come out, and everybody out there will understand that uh, that might have been the better introduction for you today, darling. Today, we are talking about your customized 15-point plan. And we're going to dive into how you have taken all 15 points and you have made them personalized to you so that you are now in a situation to live the 15-point plan day in and day out. So I'm going to be putting you on the spot, Jalene, and I'm going to be asking you every one of those categories and where that comes in into your world. Yet before we jump into that so we can help everyone build their customized 15-point plan. You wanted to talk a little bit about anchoring the 15-point plans, which we're going to make an episode on its own, but you wanted to do a quick touch on it right here. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, we're referencing the power of habit in a lot of this, and I'm sure many of you have read that book. Um, But what I was thinking with the 15-point plan is, it could feel overwhelming. It's 15 points, 15 sure. things to do, and it could feel like homework, yet it's not, Chad. Like, Mm-mm. Ben designed this so that all of us have this increased level of energy that we get, get to give others. Right. So we all want to be surrounded by someone with great energy, right? Absolutely. And I love that about you, Chad. You know, every time I see you when you, we record these podcasts together, your energy is off the chain. Like, I'm so excited to see you every time, and I know it's because you're keeping your energy levels high. Mm -hmm. That requires work for you to do on your end. Now, were you born with that? I hope so, yet I know I'm definitely (laughs) doing work to keep it up. Exactly. And so what I'd like to do is just break it down into to manageable steps that we can do every single day and maybe even combine some of the 15 points so that they become a habit in our day. And maybe we don't even have to think about them as much because... We're running through them every single day as a habit. Jolene, I'm going to bet, before you even talk about anchoring these in, mm -hmm. I'm going to bet that most of our listeners are doing three to five of them every day without thinking about it. That's a really good point. Right? They're already either eating right and having their nutrition Mm -hmm. hit and their movement hit because they've got the health piece of this down. Or maybe they're already a giving person, so they're serving and they're learning all the time. Or maybe laughter is easy because, well, they got a little one at home and it makes them laugh every single day. And they don't even have to think about the fact that they're already doing some of these things without question. So So remember, it's 15-point plan. Mm -hmm. Yet there might only be seven, eight, nine things that are going to be new to you as you're building this Mm. 15-point plan. Very good point. So to to anchor... uh, a habit. And remember, these are small things, right? But an example of of anchoring a habit is we take an existing behavior that we're going to attach the new habit to. Okay. The new habit we want to build, we're going to attach it to an existing behavior. For example, like the habit of brushing your teeth is anchored to waking up in the morning. At, every day after I wake up, I brush my teeth. So See, after that's interesting. I blank, I will blank. To me, it's tied to the shower. Well, it would be for me too. But I don't take my shower when I wake up in the morning. Mm. My workout comes first. Mm. So you've got yours anchored to something else. Correct. Mm -hmm. So folks, remember, you anchor these things to whatever matters for you, as Jolene's talking about. And so when you hear me talk about my own customized 15-point plan, yep. maybe start thinking about the, the behaviors that you have that are routine right now yes. in, your, in your day-to-day life that you can take the 15 points and then attach them to. So the first one, Chad, on the 15-point plan yes. is? The first one is goals, Jolene. Goals is the number one on the 15-point plan. Everybody's hopefully listened to the episode. Talk to us about you creating your own customized plan. How do you earn that check mark? One of the amazing benefits of being a part of the companies that I have over the past 15 years is they give you the best training on on goal setting. Mm -hmm. But yet when I was younger, I felt really um, overwhelmed by it. Like the tracking aspect of it, it it was just too much. 
Okay. And it never got simplified it. And then I would justify not reaching those goals because it was too complicated. Got it. I think Ben has a quote about that, right? Oh, yes. And so I simplified it to writing down something simple, my top goal every single day in my personal life. And I actually combine this with journaling, by the way. Yep, but I smart. open my journal, my, I write down my top business goal and my top personal goal. Okay. And then below it, I write down one action item behind each one. Got it. So, so what you're going to do today to move you closer towards that goal. Exactly. Okay. Yep. And so after I pour my coffee, I grab my journal and write my goals. Got it. Okay. So that's number one right there, folks. Just rewriting your goals and Jolene's combined two already and we're, we actually only have one on the list, but... You yeah. already combined two. That's and awesome. if you have a, if you have a lot of goals, you're going to drink a lot of coffee. <laughs> or me, you're not allowed near coffee. My <laughs> wife will, Anita will not allow me coffee after I I drank it once. Can I can see why. Understand why. All right, number two on our list, Jolene, is movement. Mm -hmm. How do you accomplish earning the check mark for movement each and every day on the 15 point plan? Well, here's what I want to say: is you know I had surgery recently, and my goal for movement had to change. I wasn't able to move the same way that I did before. Mm. So I shifted that. Okay. But I wasn't hard on myself because I had to make a change. So keep that in mind is that your life might require differences in this. Yeah, we're in different seasons. It doesn't necessarily mean winter, spring, summer, fall. There's baseball season, hockey mm -hmm. season. There are lots of seasons out there. So right. if you're in a recovery season, yeah, you're going to make these changes. If you're in a I'm pregnant at the moment. You're going to be in a different season if you're whatever you're going through. So in the season you're currently in, Jolene, talk to us about movement for you. So I've got three things. After dinner on Sunday, I will map out my week's workouts. Okay. And right now it's 20 minutes of elevated heart rate. Yay. Uh, after I park at the office, I will take the stairs. Mm. And after lunch, I will utilize my stand-up desk. Okay. There so, you go. And usually... When I write down, when I map out my plan, I also put in 10, 20 minute blocks to go walking in the middle of the day. Got it. So you're definitely getting your movement checked off by the end of the day. Okay, let's keep going. We're at hydration. We've talked about this in our hydration episode about how much we need to be drinking each and every day. So how do you earn your check mark? I have been on the struggle bus with this one for a lot of years, and I feel like I'm chronically dehydrated. So I had to really fix this habit, Chad. So okay. after I arrive at the office, I will pour myself 30 ounces of water. And I've got this giant Yeti, you know, cup holder that I use, and that's really helpful for that. Okay. So that's helping you get to your number. We won't get into what specifically your total goal is because it's half your body weight, and I'm not going to ever ask a woman how much she weighs on the air. So, Jillian, let's keep going and earn that next checkbox, which is sleep as we keep walking through the 15-point plan. What's that look like to you? Well, it's really time-bound, but it's it's attaching that time to the habit. So 8.30 is getting the kids to bed. Okay. And uh, 8.45 to 9.15 is maybe catching up on communication, maybe watching a little bit of TV, uh, planning the next day. What? You watch TV? I do. Like Aerial America, I'm so into that right now. Okay. Uh, and then 9.45 is shut everything down, so no more technology, um, no more screen time. And then... Uh, 5.45 is my wake up. And after you wake up, Jillian, what is it that you do? Uh, after I wake up is drink seven ounces of water. So there you go. We now know for 37 ounces of your water from when you first wake up and that 30 ounces you mentioned at work, we know right there that you're taking 37 ounces of water at least every day, mm -hmm. helping you towards your goal. I have a lot of friends that swear by doing that. So it's done great things for people. First to thing start I do every morning way. is 16 ounces of water before I start my workout. See, I have a hard time chugging that much liquid at once. So that's why I say seven. It's the okay. best I can do when I first wake up. Each our own. This is our customizable 15 point plan. We have to understand that if I gave you my 15 point plan, you might not keep up with certain check marks and you might think certain check marks are just too easy to earn. So folks, we are out there earning our 15-point plan check mark for our life as we are. Let's keep going, Jolene. The next one on the 15-point plan is nutrition. Talk to us. How do you earn that check mark? So mine is to be sugar-free unless it's a special event. So yesterday was my birthday, and I swear I, I just totally OD'd. I was telling Dave, our, our audio editor here, that I OD'd on sugar yesterday for my, my, my birthday. But that's because I am sugar-free unless there's a special event or something that I'm celebrating and then um, I have a, a number of days per week that I have set to be alcohol-free. 
Okay. And it's a significant amount of days. I just don't want to mention that because everyone's on a different journey there. Sure. But for me, um, and, and with nutrition too, is being mostly gluten-free. So I'm a 90-10 there, 90% of the week gluten-free, and then 10% I'll eat gluten. Okay. And again, your plan. So different from mine, different from some of our listeners. It's just go back to our nutrition episode, get the lessons from it, figure out how you're going to earn your check mark. All right. The next one, Jalene, we had on there was supplements. You know, and I've determined which ones I actually need based on my, you know, the composition of my body and so on. Uh, but after I eat dinner, I will take my vitamins. Now, a lot of people do this in the morning. I think it's often helpful to eat, to take your vitamins after you eat. Yes. So attaching it to eating could build the habit. Correct. And I do the exact opposite. I tie it to food, yet I do mine with breakfast, just like you said. So to me, it's perfect. as I eat breakfast, I take my vitamins to keep mine going. Okay. Jolene, we're getting out of the what I want to almost say are the easier ones. They might be hard for our audience. I'm not making them in that regard, but easy to obviously check off. I did my movement. I ate right. I took my vitamins. Now we get onto some of the other things. So influences, Jolene, how do you earn your checkbox for influences every day? Well, here's the thing. I think any one of us at any given time in our lives are dealing with a specific challenge. So that challenge could be related to time management. It could be related to our, our nutrition. It could be related to our relationships, or maybe we're not laughing enough and we're too serious, so we're not able to give back like we want to. And I think when we when we see those gaps and we recognize them and we've created this awareness from becoming mindful, mm -hmm. then what I like to do is write down names of people who are my mentors in those areas. So my influences, say, for time management is Ben Kinney. Sure. I, I don't know very many people that manage their time better than him. Oh, he's mastered He knows that. how to prioritize the right things. Does he does everything? No. But he's a mentor for me in that area. And he's obviously a mentor for me in many other areas as sure. well. Nutrition um, would be like Ryan Gregg, who I work with. I like to reach out to him to say, hey, I'm having this issue. What do you suggest? And then, Chad, for you, mm -hmm. uh, you're my mentor for exercise. Aww. So you help me understand, like, what's a good balance in my day? What do I need to do? And what is my body capable of? Mm -hmm. And you've been my mentor. And I'll reach out to you when I feel like I'm slipping from that. Yep. So and you're you're being purposeful about the area of your life and who the mentor is that you're going to reach out to so that you can earn that check mark and say, I engaged with that influence. Yep, exactly. And, and for learning, which is one of the 15 points we just recorded on, um, Chris Suarez is one of my mentors and my influences for learning. So he does a, a call every single week that I'm a part of, and I've got my notes ready, like I'm going to take notes throughout. And that's one of my favorite ways to learn every week is through him. Sure. And check out his podcast. It's a fantastic podcast that Chris has going out there. Okay, let's keep going. Uh, journaling. You've already told us that you're writing your goals in your journal, which means you're already journaling. So you're earning that check mark. What else do you do in journal to be purposeful about it? Well, I created a flow for it that I've talked about before. And it's, it's a 5G technique because yep. we all want, want the best service, right? Um, I'm drawing a funny parallel to cell service. But we got it. I, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Chad. <laughs> First one is gratitude, then goals, give, get, and grow. And I go into to more detail in another podcast about it, but it's my routine and it can be simply a five-minute routine. Yeah. Jump back into our journal episode to hear Jolene really dive deep on that. Now, this is a word that has been everywhere I have gone lately for some reason, and that's mindfulness. It's another one of our, our check boxes, Jolene. How are you earning your 15 point plan check for mindfulness in your customized program? You know, I draw from the other 15 points into this one. I think that they're all interconnected, but especially with mindfulness, um, like learning and influences are part of that. One of my biggest goals is to focus on people in the moment, the moment that I'm there with them. Like in this moment, I'm here with with Chad and Dave, and I'm focusing on this moment with you guys in the audience. Yep. And uh, to get rid of cell phone or distractions is really helpful for me. So for instance, I'll just take time out of the day where I don't have any technology on me so that I can be more mindful. And then mindful communication, and that's just slowing down to think about my responses, but think more about how I can ask great questions. You know, I would challenge everybody here, take a moment after this 
episode is done, jump over to the Win Make Give podcast. You can find it at winmakegive.com or anywhere podcasts are. Go check out episode six of season two, A Winning Mindset, because we interviewed a gentleman, and I'm not going to, but wow, he talks about being mindful in that episode. We really dove into it with him. So yeah, that's an amazing podcast. There was a great, great stuff there for you. All right, let's keep going. Uh, Jalene, gratitude is next on the list. How do you earn your check mark for gratitude? Find space to be purposeful about gratitude. For me, my checkpoint is to train myself to have a reaction to frustration that is replacing the frustration with gratitude. Mm. And I think that's going to be a forever journey for me. I don't think that's a now <laughs> thing. But the moment I feel frustration or I'm objectionable, I think you called me. Yes. I will then think about what I'm grateful for, and it takes me out of that space. Absolutely. And of course, folks, you could just write down five things you're grateful for. You could just reach out to someone you're grateful for. You're building your customized plan. This is Jalene's. We just want to give you an example. Now, we just chuckled at, at a comment there. We chuckled at your comment about 5G. Jalene, laughter is the next one. How do you earn that check mark? So this is going to sound super forced, but um, my goal is to make a joke every single day. I should have wrote one down before coming into the podcast room today, the recording studio, uh, but I didn't. Find something to laugh at intentionally. So for some, that might be going on you know, Instagram or YouTube or, or just finding someone who's funny. I've got someone in my office who makes me laugh every single time I talk to this person. His name is Don Elliott. And then I will get my check, my check mark that day. Nita's going to watch cat videos. They make her laugh. All right, learning. Jalene, earn the check mark. How long do you purposefully learn to get that check mark? 20 minutes a day. There you go. Could be through listening or reading. Okay. Hobbies? For me, it's doing like Duolingo, which I love to learn Spanish and German. Right. Um, my family's German, and so I, I mostly love the food more than I love the language, but I thought it'd be <laughs> fun to do the language too. And then uh, one of my hobbies is to create life hacks for becoming better organized, and I'm super obsessed with this. Got it. So it actually is a hobby of mine. So every day I just find something to organize better. Okay. There you go. And you've worked learning and hobby together with the Duolingo uh, in that area as well. All right, serve. How do you earn that check mark for serving? You know, for me with limited time, especially I donate a lot. So I donate to my kids daycare, which is YMCA and I don't donate to the local chapter, which, which helps them. But I feel like I can serve. And I think Ben Kinney actually taught me this. I know he did. And that is ask people powerful questions that maybe other people never ask them or yep. they've never been asked by no another individual and then listen to them powerfully. Like not thinking about my response, but thinking about what they're telling me from my powerful question and serving them that way. It's great. Love it. And Ben gives us some great, amazing lessons that we can use. And then Jalene, point 15 is time. How do you earn your check mark for time? You know, in my office, we do these things called power hours, mm -hmm. and that's where it's a focused hour with a specific outcome attached to it, and we do it every single day. And it's going to be our number one goal. It's going to be the priority attached to that number one goal that we focus on for an entire hour without in interruptions, and so I do that. Before bed every night, I take about five minutes, and then I, that's where I'm looking at my plan for the next day. And that helps me manage my time because... I wasn't raised super disciplined, mm. and now I'm having to implement a system and a model like 15-point plan in order to do that, um, especially with time. Okay, so Jalene, fill in the blank. The 15-point plan is designed to bring more... Energy. Yes. All right, Jalene, what would you look like if the energy you built through your customized 15-point plan became part of your... Identity. Yeah. Folks, what would that look like if you were doing that, right? Jalene, we are blank to others with great energy. What is the blank? We are attracted, Chad. We sure are, aren't we? Yeah. We just radiate to people that yeah. have that energy. Not in a, a romantic way. No. But, you know, like who, no. who doesn't want to be around Chad Himes or, sure. or, you know, Ben Kinney when they've got great energy? Or when, that person in your world. Did you hear that? When we have great energy. Otherwise, <laughs> avoid us like the plague. Absolutely. Jalene, you got a quote here that you wanted to kind of close this one out with? Ah, uh, well, you guys know that I quote James Clear a lot. He's one of my favorites. Every action we take is a vote for the type of person we wish to become. No single instance will transform your beliefs, but as the votes build up, so does the evidence of our new identity. Mm. 
So think about what you want to be part of that identity. And, and I know going through this journey with all of you with the 15-point plan, I want energy to be a part of my identity. And I know that all I have to do is create and follow my customized 15-point plan in order to do that. Jolene, it has been a pleasure going through the 15 points with you. We're not done. This was just the start. This was season one of the 15-point uh, plan Chad's podcast. Chad's me hostage. That's right. We're not letting her out of the room. We're going to be back with future episodes diving deep now. Now that we have given you the 30,000-foot view at these 15 points, make sure you continue to join us on this journey as we go deep into nutrition. We go deep into lessons for sleep. We go deep into learning styles. We go deep into service. We're going to go deep now into each of these 15 points and help you develop the energy plan for your life. As we wrap up season one, we hope you have remembered to give us a rating and a review wherever you get your podcast. We hope you have shared the 15 point plan podcast with somebody in your world. Just send them to 15pointplan.com or have them search for the 15 point plan wherever they get their podcast. And as always, join us in our Facebook group, facebook.com slash groups slash win, make, give. We hope this episode ups your energy and takes you to the next level.